Roller Derby started as something to do, a hobby that I'd seen people do. And I'd been watching for a while and wanted to join and for various reasons wasn't able to. Then it took over my life, as it does with everyone else. Um, roller Derby now is a huge part of my social life, a huge part of my whole life altogether. I speak to the girls almost every day, I see them two or three times a week at training and it's a, it's a community, it's a community from start to finish. If you're on the B team and you see somebody who's half your age basically come in and can do the things that you're still struggling eight years later to get down, it's like it makes you try harder. And I think the A team feel the same when you see someone coming in. It's nice to see somebody who's like excited about it and stuff, but it also makes you like, that could be a nice spot. I think I think we're getting to the point now where where we're, where we're ranked isn't quite good enough. We need to do better. I think this will push us as a team to do a bit better. So this would be if I roster my first proper game for LRB. So I am feeling absolutely terrified. Um, but I think genuinely most people are, are confident about the games. I see B team and A team as just, just amazing. <laughs> so to skate with them would be would be really, really good. So it'd be a massive achievement for me to be able to roster and skate in that game. Um, but then there's always that fear of being really new to it and letting people down and so that for me that's my biggest fear. Yeah, no, it's really nice, it's really empowering. Like, um, I saw a quote that was like, you know, roller derby is the original sport, you know, invented by women for women, and it is really empowering in that way, and it is kind of one of the sports. I think a lot of the other kind of sports where you show what you can do with your body are, you know, generally seen as men's sports. Yeah, I so I tend to find that there's, there's stereotypes. So, um, I've had people think that we best could just get on track and beat each other up. Once you get on track and you start playing and everyone's in it and you know you smile at someone and then that's it like the kind of nerves go out and you just kind of really yeah i just find it really enjoyable i'm just really happy i am supposed to get around you The physical side of it is, is one thing, but the mental side of it and the journey that you go on and like, you know, will I be rostered? Am I good enough? I want to get better. Um, the culture that we have in the team is that we're all trying to get better. I think um, the league has become more professional and um, our training kind of coaches are really pushing us and it feels like it's ramped up a level and each year it's sort of getting more and more professional. So I think for our A team, um, they've got a serious focus on international games and that feels like serious, serious playing. And I think for the B team, being in the British Championships is a really big deal. And I think Dundee game is great because it's bringing together players from our A, our B and some of our C team are playing as well. 
So I think it was a lovely opportunity to have everyone go away together and it will be a real kind of like bonding moment One, as well. Two, three. We got this! We got So roster came out on Tuesday night and I rostered, um, which is um, a mix of excitement um, and utter fear, terror. Um, I'm absolutely terrified. I think it's going to be a really tough game and so I'm quite nervous about it and I think the overall feeling is I'm an absolute newbie and going in as a newbie and playing a game that, you know, it matters because there's points and um, rankings that ride on it and as an absolute newbie I don't want to mess it up and then be to blame for messing it up. I think at one point we were told to turn around and not watch it. Um, the last, sort of the penultimate jam, LJ was lining up and she just said, listen everyone, you're just getting way too emotional, turn around, don't look. Um, but it, for me, it was just complete elation when it, when it was done. And because it was so close, it, it was emotional, but it was really, like I was really elated. It was such a, such a good experience. So in the first half, by the end of the first half, I think we were ahead by about 50 points. Um, but then in the last jam, the last two minutes, it was a power jam to Dundee and they managed to make it up and they ended up winning by 17 points. So it was pretty heartbreaking. We travelled so far, we weren't expected to win. So the fact that we won for the most of it was brilliant, so we are really proud of ourselves despite not winning.